I loved studying the ocean from a really young age. And I want to live in a world where there's strange clams that seem out of science fiction. Over time, I started studying climate change, but I knew I was still attracted to life in the oceans as my core passion. And I was looking for a way to unite those two interests, and my passion really arose when I realized they were providing us this service that you could pick up a shell on the beach and figure out the history of the world from it. I just kind of finally became inseparable from the animals I studied. So the biosphere is a humongous, several acre enclosed set of biomes that include a rainforest, a desert, a savanna, but the one I'm interested in is the ocean biome, which is a 700,000 gallon ocean tank replicating the conditions that would exist in the tropics. And Everything, including all aspects of the chemistry, are in line with what you'd experience in the real world. For the first time in over 30 years since the tank was first made, we have giant clams growing in there. So my name is Dan Killam. I'm a postdoctoral researcher here at Biosphere 2 and the University of Arizona. I'm working with Diane Thompson in the Tropical Research Lab. We are all about trying to grow tropical creatures in the Biosphere 2 ocean. In my case, I am focusing on the giant clams. That's the main thing I do day to day, is trying to understand how they live. Giant clams live on coral reefs. The reefs and their creatures that live on it represent the majority of the diversity that lives in the oceans. They seed the health of the broader ocean. The reefs are under threat, and giant clams are not immune to that. But they're an understudied portion of the reefs. And we're tracking basically how they grow up we uh, focus on their shells, because their shells are like a diary of how they grew. And by opening up that shell and looking at the growth lines in that shell, much like a tree has rings, we can basically read back the whole diary of the life of the clam and understand how is it reacting to its environment. Giant clams are unique in making daily increments of growth. And we can see that light and dark couple it represents a page in the life of the clam. They make 365 of those a year. That's the whole point of the project, is to figure out how they record their own biology and their environment. It is an interesting aspect in itself to go back in time like a detective and figure out what was happening in the past. But the idea of trying to watch the clams live as they're building these records and understand how that is relevant to the animal during its life that produces a lot of responsibility. So I've had to learn a lot and be on call to them as basically my bosses. Their success is my success. When I open the data that we've been collecting, that's something no one has seen before. It's something unwritten about. And I find that very exciting to be at the cutting edge of trying to see something no one's seen before. These clams, you know, you might not see a wild one in your life, but they are under threat. And we have to work together to figure out how to change that to make sure that future generations of our kids can appreciate these animals that are tremendously impressive. And I would just say that each of us can work together to figure out how to preserve these animals in the future. This is a really special place. I'm glad it was built decades ago, and I'm glad it's been maintained the way it has and continue to, to support all this interesting work. It's an exciting place to be. A lot of cool stuff happening everywhere. Mm -hmm.